GEMS provides a way for you to enter per diem expenses. Per diem is a daily amount you can request to cover the out-of-pocket costs of lodging, meals, and incidentals. Per diem rates are set by the federal government based on location and time of year. GEMS allows you to report two types of per diems, one for meals alone and the other for both lodging and meals together. And you cannot use your GEMS card with this type of expense. Per diem is strictly an out-of-pocket expense. So what is included in incidental expenses? A federal travel regulation describes incidentals as fees and tips given to porters, baggage carriers, bellhops, hotel maids, stewards or stewardesses, and others on ships and hotel servants in foreign countries. Incidentals can also include transportation to places where meals are taken if on-site restaurants or room service is not available. If you claim a meals or incidentals per diem, you should not expense these incidental items. There are a few rules for calculating per diem expenses. First, for meals, you must deduct 25% on the first and last day of travel. It's highly unlikely you'll be eating a full day of meals on the first and last day. Next, you must deduct a percentage for any meals that are provided as part of a conference registration fee, hotel rate, or a business meal expensed by either you or someone else. In these cases, you should deduct 25% for breakfast or lunch and 50% for dinner. If you host a business meal with guests, you should claim it as a business meal expense and deduct the appropriate percentage from your meals per diem for that day. For meal and lodging per diems, do not claim a lodging expense on the last day of travel. There's no stay on that day. If you stay over for pleasure or personal reasons, you cannot include a per diem for extra days unless you must stay in order to take advantage of reduced airfare. If you claim a lodging per diem, you are required to claim a meal per diem as well. You cannot claim lodging alone. If you claim a meal per diem, you are not required to claim a lodging per diem and per diems can only be claimed by university employees who are employed at the time of travel. Click the per diem rules link shown here to access a printable copy of these rules. To claim a meal per diem, you must first look up the per diem rate for the destination location and the time of year of your visit. You can find the per diem rates at the U.S. General Services Administration website. Type in the city and state or zip code of the location. The per diem schedule for the city you selected will show daily lodging per diems by month and a single daily meal per diem. If you are claiming a meal per diem only, simply use the meals and incidental expenses rate. If you are claiming a lodging and meals per diem, use the lodging rate shown for the month of your travel and add to this the rate of your meal per diem. For instance, if you travel to Boston in January, take the 154 lodging per diem and add the $71 meal per diem. So your total lodging and meals per diem would be $225 per day. Then for the first day, deduct 25% of meals. And on the last day, deduct 25% of meals and do not include lodging. If your travel destination was outside the United States, you can find per diem rates at the U.S. State Department website. On this site, you can look up per diem rates by country. For instance, if you travel to Paris, first click Foreign Per Diem Rates by Location, then look up the per diem rates for France. A table for the selected country will include the major cities. Be sure to select your month of travel at the top of the chart. Then choose your destination on the list, or a city closest to your destination. The lodging and meal per diems are listed separately, but it also lists a combined per diem. If you are claiming lodging and meals, use this maximum per diem rate with 25% of meals deducted on the first and last days of travel and no lodging on the last day. Once you've found your per diem rate, you're ready to calculate your per diem expense. You will claim a single per diem expense in gyms per destination city. Let's look at a few examples of meal per diems first. Here's a meal per diem for five days spent in New York. You can look up the per diem rate online. The rate in this case for meals only is $71 per day. To enter a per diem expense, you must first calculate the expense manually. The best way is to use a spreadsheet. You can calculate 71 minus 25% on the first and last days of travel. 
Then include the full per diem for the other days. The total is the amount you will enter in gems as a per diem expense. Here's another example. Suppose you went to a conference in Miami. As part of the conference fee, the conference provided breakfast and lunch on Tuesday and just breakfast on Wednesday. The set meal per diem for Miami is $66. On the first and last day, deduct 25% of 66, which is 49.50. On Tuesday, deduct 25% for breakfast and another 25% for lunch. That comes to $33. On Wednesday, deduct only 25% for the breakfast. Then add the total for each day. This is the amount you will enter as a meal per diem on your expense report. In GEMS, per diem expenses can be claimed in travel expense reports. First, look up the expense types for per diem. If you are claiming meals only, select the per diem meals expense type. You'll need to complete all of the required fields. These are marked with a red bar. Fill in the information for start and end dates of your travel, destination city, and number of days. Scroll down for more fields. Now fill in the rest of the required fields. In the Daily Amount field, use the per diem rate for meals. In the Payment Type field, leave Out of Pocket selected. In the Amount field, enter the total per diem amount you calculated on the spreadsheet. This is the amount you will be reimbursed. Finally, in the Comment field, type a note about how you calculated the per diem. As an alternative, you can also use the Attach Receipts function to attach a copy of the spreadsheet you use to calculate the per diem. Once you've entered all required information and your comment, click Save. And the per diem expense is entered. Now let's look at a few examples of lodging and meal per diems. Suppose you wanted to claim a lodging and meal per diem for a five-day trip to New York. The lodging per diem is $269 and the meal per diem is $71. Calculate lodging and meals for each day. Include the lodging expense for the first four days, but not the last day. Include a meal per diem for all five days, deducting 25% for the first and last days. Calculate a combined total for each day and then add together all of the totals. The grand total is the amount you will enter in GEMS as a lodging and meals expense per diem for New York. But what if you travel to two or more cities? In this case, you will need to include a separate per diem expense for each destination city. For example, if you spend three days in London and two days in Paris, you'll want to create two per diem expenses for the specific month of travel. First, calculate the meal and lodging for the first city, subtracting 25% for first day meals. On the travel day to the second city, use the full meal per diem for that destination, in this example Paris. Again, subtract 25% for the last day meals and do not include a lodging per diem for the last day. Now you have two totals. You will use these to create two per diem expenses in GEMS. To create a lodging and meals per diem in a travel expense report, first look up per diem expense types. This time select per diem, lodging, and meal. Again, complete the required fields, the ones with the red bar in front. Fill in the required information for start and end dates, the first destination city, and number of days in that city. Scroll down and complete the remaining required fields. Note that even if you travel to a foreign city, you should still enter the per diem in U.S. dollar amounts according to the U.S. State Department website. So change the currency setting to USD. The daily amount should be the combined lodging and meal rate for a single day. Make the payment type as out of pocket. Enter the total amount for the first destination city calculated on your spreadsheet. Also, include a comment showing how you calculated the per diem. You can also use the Attach Receipts function to attach a copy of the spreadsheet you used. Once you've completed the required information and the comment, click Save. The expense appears in your report. Now let's create a second expense for the second destination city. 
fill in the required fields. Note that this time travel was to Paris. Again, in the daily amount field, enter the combined lodging and meal rate for a single day as found on the U.S. State Department website. In the amount field, enter the total per diem for all days combined, and include a comment about how you calculated the per diem. When you're done, click Save. And you now have two per diem expenses, one for each destination city. And that's how you enter per diem expenses. If you need any further assistance in calculating per diems, please consult these resources. To watch this demonstration again, click Replay. To exit, close this browser window.